Good evening children and happy Tuesday I think it is today. Um, welcome back to Bible at Bedtime and I've got my 10 objects again but I've changed one of them I'm sure you'll see straight away. I've taken away the paint brushes and I've put out this beautiful peace lily. Very very pretty plant that was a gift for me the other day. Came by some by post, it was quite a surprise opening up, seeing a plant coming in a parcel. I'm just going to give it a bit of a water, spray the leaves a bit. There we are, hope it lives. So I've got ten objects, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost the same as yesterday. And I want you to have a good long look at them, at the puffin, the candle holder and the bee, the magnifying glass, the angel, the peace lily, the water spray, the old key, the game, and an egg. And then David's going to, I don't know, you can look at the ceiling today if you like, David. I'm going to take, oh, I'm going to take two things away today. There we are, you can come back. Now, my David was rubbish at this yesterday. Can you see which two things I've taken? Yeah. Anyway, you? you know which two. Oh, well done. Go on then. What was it? Um, the angel. Yes. And the little box of card games. Yes, well done. There we are. Good remembering, David. Did you get it right as well, boys and girls? The little game and the angel. Keep our minds sharp because we've got to think and remember today. Do you remember how yesterday we heard the story of Jesus walking through a big crowd and he met two people? Well, I suppose he met lots of people, but he met two people in particular. There was a very important man called, do you remember David? Jairus. Well done. And his daughter was very poorly, if you remember. And we also met a lady whose name we don't know because I suppose she was not important. But to Jesus, everyone's important. And he stopped and talked to both. And there's the man Jairus, very important man telling Jesus about his daughter, who's very, very poorly indeed. And then just down here, we can see the lady who's very, very ill. Both showed that they had faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. They believed that he was the saviour, the Messiah, because they trusted him with their difficulties. Now then, the lady went away, healed, restored and forgiven. What happened to Jairus' daughter? Well, while Jesus was giving his whole attention to the woman who had touched his cloak, she just touched his cloak, didn't she? She didn't get near her. There was a lot of stirring nearby. Something was happening where Jairus was waiting impatiently. He really wanted Jesus to listen to his problem. Some servants had arrived from his house. He's a wealthy man. He has servants. And they brought the message he dreaded to hear. Your daughter, Jairus, has died, they told him. There is no point in bothering Jesus now. Poor Jairus, his heart sank. He tried so hard to get to Jesus before it was too late. Oh, if only Jesus hadn't stopped to talk to that woman. Surely she could have waited. Oh, it was no good now. But at that moment, Jesus turned from watching the woman and put his hand on Jairus's shoulder. Don't be frightened or worry, Jesus said. Go on trusting me. This man showed that he trusted Jesus and Jesus said, don't give up. Go on trusting me. The two of them strode quickly towards Jairus's grand house. The hired mourners were already wailing noisily outside. When somebody died in these times, they would hire or pay people to come along and cry and wail in a very particular loud way. Well, if they were wealthy, they would. What's all this noise about? Jesus asked them. The little girl is only sleeping. But they laughed at him. They knew that she was dead. Jesus walked past them into the house. He gave orders that no one was to come into the little girl's room except her parents and his three close friends, Peter, James and John. Jesus went across to the still dead figure lying on the mattress. He took 
the cold white hand in his. Get up, little one, he said. And at once the girl opened big brown eyes and smiled at him. And then she was out of bed in a moment and hopping about the room in excitement. Tears were streaming down her mother's face. Jesus didn't want the girl to be upset and he spoke quickly to her parents. Your daughter's feeling hungry now. Why not get her something to eat? She probably hadn't eaten for a long time while she'd been poorly. So there's Jesus holding the little girl's hand and there's her mum and her dad. This miracle is a very private miracle, isn't it? It's just for these three people, a little girl and a mum and dad. And then there are three of Jesus' disciples also watching. It's wonderful, isn't it, how they got to see this incredible miracle. They would never have forgotten this day, would they, these three people? They would never forget that Jesus holds the keys to life and death. It's him who's in charge of our lives right up until the point that we die. And if we're believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, when we do die, we only go to sleep and we wake up in heaven. It's a wonderful story. So lots to think about there. Um, it's wonderful to know that Jesus is sovereign over all and a great comfort to us whenever we go to sleep at night to know that he is in charge of our lives. Thank you very much for listening. It's a lovely story. And remember that we are all important to Jesus. And we're just going to say a prayer now, so hands together, eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful miracle that reminds us that Jesus is the one who is in charge of our lives and even of the time when we die. We thank you for this tremendous miracle that points to the fact that Jesus is God. And just as they never forgot that miracle, may we never forget that Jesus is God. Thank you, Lord, that he cares about us all the time. We thank you, Lord, that he always has time for all of us and we are all important and special to him. Amen. And we'll just do the blessing. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you safe. And the Lord give you his peace till we meet again. Amen. It'll be tomorrow evening, boys and girls. Hope you sleep well. Bye-bye now. Take care.